This is the final moment of not a normal man, but the last surviving part. A really intense scene that after the intro we are going to discover together. Hi everyone and welcome back to Exploring Art, this is Alessandro. We are in the second episode of the Romanticism series and today I want to talk about the painting that represents really good these style features, The Bard by Thomas Jones. If you missed the first episode, hear the link and also in the description. On the first side, what catch our eyes is for sure the landscape with these beautiful warm colors and cloudy sky that fills half of the painting and in the rest of the picture is clear the presence of the nature more than the humans, except for the old man on the edge of the cliff who is looking back. If you're thinking he's distracted and he doesn't realize he's falling, the answer is no, unfortunately. Actually, he knows what he's doing. This old man is the last surviving bard in Wales. Based on Thomas Gray's poem, The Bard, the tale tells the story of Edward I's legendary massacre of the Welsh bards. Bards were highly regarded in Welsh society at that time and were thought to be descendants of the Celtic Druids. That's why Jones painted him with Druidic features, a long white beard and hooded robe. To emphasize this connection, on background we can see some stones in circle like in Stonehenge that Jones skillfully depicted almost melting them with the natural environment. The architecture is actually some ruins consequence of Edward's attack and if we look more carefully we can see also the massacre. On the ground there are three bards wounded to death with their harps next to them. That Jones once again painted like if they are losing their human features becoming part of the soil. And we can see also Edward and his cavalry here on background. But for sure the scene is dominated not by chance by the nature and the bard. And we shouldn't be surprised, since uh, one of the main romanticism features is the sublime. The feeling we have when we are looking at something with a greatness beyond all possibility of calculation. Like here, with this beautiful sunset metaphor of the end of a group of people and a tradition that left some tracks that are already disappearing. However, the nature is not against the man, and a very strong wind coming from the right seems to push the bard away from the cliff, showing him to live. The wind's strength is visible on the trees, on the bard's robe and the beard. But he took his decision. He is leaving the world with a hand gesture that is at the same time a goodbye and a curse on the English invaders. In this painting we can see the romanticism essence, strong feelings consequence of human actions and the man as single protagonist in the world but with nature, apparently in background, that emphasizes these feelings reaching the awe that we can feel in front of this work of art. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave your comments and don't miss the next episodes because I'm preparing other interesting contents for you. Ciao!